Hi everyone, welcome to today's Laugh of the Day, video number 219. It's August 6th, 2016, and we're making another laughter video for you, just like we did every day so far this year, and just like we're going to keep doing every day for the rest of this year, because we want to show you what it's like to have a daily laughter practice, and we want to see as many people as possible around the world create a daily laughter practice, just laughing on purpose intentionally because it feels really good and it has many health and social and spiritual benefits. Even without jokes and humor, your body and brain can't tell the difference. So we show you different ways to choose to laugh and we introduce you to people around the world who understand this and who are involved with this intentional laughter movement. For some people it's laughter yoga. For some people it's laughter wellness. We have a laughter wellness instructor joining us today from Cyprus. This is the 42nd country outside of America that we've featured in our video series. Welcome to the video today. This is Demetrius Morphis. Hi Demetrius, thanks for laughing with me. Thank you, David, for inviting me. It's a pleasure and congratulations for having so much open community to laugh with you. Oh. I'm really envious and uh, in a good sense and I, <laughs> I really enjoy it. Keep doing your the best. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. It is a pleasure for me, and the, the global laughter community exists. I'm just giving sort of a channel for which we can all get the message out together. So uh, part of your message, I know, has to do with how you help people as a psychologist, and I want to get your insights about how laughter has impacted you personally and your clients, but we'll get to the storytelling after you show us some of your favorite ways to laugh, okay? Yeah, sure. Would you like me to uh, start? Yeah, go ahead and lead us in a few laughter exercises and all our viewers and, and I will laugh along with you. Okay, so every laughter exercise for me has a message. So I should start with uh, bowing to laughter, which means that we bow uh, to the best of ourselves. Uh, bow to We begin, uh, we use laughter in our lives to appreciate ourselves, so let's bow together. Yeah. So and then we can we can start uh, uh, using the benefits of laughter uh, by opening our hearts because if we don't open our body, our heart, and our mind to laughter, then we won't appreciate its physical and mental benefits. So let's open our hearts to laughter, like beginning from inside to outside, extending ha, 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 ha. <laughs> oh, life can be so great. So great. Like it's so great. So great. 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 You have a very contagious laughter day. Oh, thank you. Well, that's the nature of laughter. It's not just me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. So I have, I have some more exercises to suggest, but uh, do you, uh, would you like to ask me or would you like to uh, continue our discussion and do it for the ending so that to leave a little bit of surprise to our viewers? Ah, okay. Well, yeah, then tell us what's what's been the biggest thing that you've seen impact the people in your life, whether it's your clients or the people who come to laugh with you in a group or even yourself, what's the biggest impact that you see laughter having on people? Um, the biggest impact of laughter in people and my clients and the groups that I organize uh, is that uh, they start to realize how serious matter is to laugh. Mm. So laughing is not a silly matter. It's a very serious matter. It's, uh, you know, during these uh, times that we go through, this economic recession times that our countries go through, it's very important to understand how to uh, turn to yourself, find your inner strengths, and uh, discover simple things, simple innate mechanisms like laughter that you have, 
but realize their potential. So when someone is open to this, then uh, the brain starts to reprogram, the soul starts to open, and this is the joy. People come uh, unaffected and live with the joy. This is the miracle that they discover, and this is the effect that it has on them. Yeah. It's so, I mean, you could make a comparison to other ordinary things, like, let's say, walking. We all walk, but then imagine having an injury that takes away your ability to walk, but not permanently. You just have to recover and heal and exactly. maybe do physical therapy, and as you're relearning and regaining your ability to walk, you have a new appreciation for it. Same thing, exactly. with, same thing with laughter. You take it seriously enough to know that I need to make time for this every day and I need to choose to do it because it's good for me and it's good for the people around me for me to be getting the benefits. If I'm happier and less stressed and healthier overall, people around me are going to benefit from that. And that's really our mission with Daily Laughers in inspiring people to create a daily laughter practice. We know it's going to have this ripple effect. Is that, is that kind exactly. of your point, I totally too? I totally agree to this, and I will add to that. Uh, it uh, reminds me of the example of walking and taking attention of your breath. Do we take attention of our breath when we walk? Mm, I mean, not always. We don't do this if we don't have a sense of ourselves, and laughter really creates this sense. It's incredible, incredible and extraordinary. So it seems to me what you're saying is that not only do we get these automatic benefits from laughing, but it will help us be more mindful. Exactly. Yeah. Mindful, physically, and mentally. Yeah, yeah. It's a great, it's a great so point. So as, as, as I'm, I'm sure that you also agree, laughter opens uh, our hidden mechanisms, our natural mechanisms to heal our body and heal our soul. So yes, yeah. it's true. Yeah, well there's more and more research about laughter helping uh, to boost the immune system, to increase our tolerance for pain, to uh, improve our circulation and, and reduce stress of course first of, and foremost. So yeah, this is all, all really good points. Thank you. Well, why don't you show us a, a little bit more of your uh, favorite laughter techniques? Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, actually, I would like to um, uh, finish. Uh, let's say I would like to say that uh, what I do in my sessions is um, to show people how to open up to laughter uh, step by step to realize that it is something that their body does it um, when they want it and whatever time they want it. So, but uh, as I mentioned before, appreciating ourselves is one of the most difficult but simple things to do in this era of economic crisis. Um, I believe that connecting laughter to appreciation is something very good. So, I would like to demonstrate um, how to appreciate yourself and laugh at the same time and making thoughts <laughs> like, um, uh, I have a very big potential. I uh, want to create something beautiful to myself and to people around me. So let's appreciate ourselves a little by little and laugh at the same time. So, Yes, yes, it's a pleasure to meet you, and I, I really uh, appreciate your perspective as, as a psychologist and as a laughter wellness instructor. So, thank you very much for sharing your, your perspective and your, your laughter with us today. Thank you so much, Dave. All right. And, uh, I hope to meet you again, again in the future in a future video. I would enjoy that. For our viewers, please subscribe on YouTube, join our Daily Laughter, uh, Laughers Facebook group, and uh, tune in tomorrow. We'll have another video with somebody else from around the world every day for the rest of the year. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye, Demetrius. Bye-bye. Follow Dave. Bye-bye, Dave. <laughs>